Hey violin and viola players, here's two tricks that you can use to help your bow on the string. Number one, we talk a lot about how one of the big rules of the bow is to play parallel to the string, like this. One way that you can make sure you're parallel to the string is by doing a square up. When you square up, take your bow and put it, of course, in lane three, at the middle of the bow, like this. Now, if you look, I have a square hole using my bow, my arm, my upper arm, and the instrument in my shoulders. And I make a square hole. Can you see it? Try this at home with your own bow and instrument and see if you can be squared up on every string. So, the most important part of my arm for changing strings like I am right now is my elbow. So the other trick we're going to learn today is a bow game called elbow elevators, which is what I'm doing right now. To play elbow elevators, I want you to take your arm and make sure that your wrist isn't bent down or up like this. Go to the middle of that bow again, just like we did to square up. And then I want you to rock on the strings like this rock on the strings back and forth. So I'm not playing. Nope, I'm just rocking. And you'll notice that your elbow comes up as you go towards your lower strings. So right now I'm on a violin and I'm going E, A, D, G, and then G, D, A, E, and then back and forth. And then you can try one string at a time. So E to A, A to D, D to G, and then back, G to D, D to A, a to E. Whenever you're playing, I want you to start with an elbow elevator. So if you're going to play on your D string, rock to your D string like this and then play. And don't forget to always use elbow only for your bow. All right, this also works, like I said, for viola players. If I grab my viola, I can do middle of the bow on my a string and rock to the C string and then back. And try this out and you'll notice that your hand doesn't stay in one spot when it's rocking to different strings. Make sure your elbow doesn't go too high and make sure you're not down too low. That's why I said make sure your wrist isn't bent. It should be straight just like your left hand. Try these elbow elevators and then stop once in a while and make sure you're still squared up. Have fun with these two tricks, and I hope it helps your bow. Have a great day, and go be awesome.